Has this ever happened to you? The plan looked fine on my laptop, so I pushed it to prod, and now our S3 buckets are missing. My development environment deployed fine, but now the QA pipeline is erroring out. The change worked great in QA last week, but deploying to prod recreated our whole AKS cluster. These are the kinds of issues you can encounter when Terraform versioning isn't handled consistently. So what can you do to make sure you don't fall victim to version mismanagement? Terraform versioning is applied to three different categories, the Terraform client itself, the Terraform providers, and Terraform modules. Correctly controlling each category is fundamental to predictable infrastructure changes. The Terraform client version is restricted by the required version argument inside of the Terraform block. You can set an upper and lower bound for which client versions are supported. If you've decided to use the amazing new check blocks from Terraform 1.5, you should change the required client version to 1.5 to match. This will prevent a pipeline or teammate from receiving unexpected syntax errors if they haven't upgraded yet. Terraform provider versions are set within the Terraform block using the required providers block. Each entry in the block defines the local name of the provider, the provider plugin source, and a version constraint. At a minimum, you should set a preferred major version of the provider as most breaking changes should happen during a major version upgrade. You should also set a minimum if you are using new resource types or arguments that were introduced with a particular minor version. Both the version constraint and the actual version downloaded during initialization are written to the version lock file .terraform.lock.hcl. The file should be checked into source control and included in future commits. Doing so creates consistency on all pipelines and teammates that use the configuration. Consistency is good. Terraform module versions are set within the module block by setting the version argument. My advice is to set the version argument to a precise version rather than a range. Terraform does not create a version lock file for modules, so if you want to ensure consistency across pipelines and teammates, lock this one down to the patch version. If you leverage the controls Terraform provides for versioning, you can have a more predictable and consistent infrastructure management experience. Or don't. Chaos can be fun, especially on Fridays.